Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Happy Vlogmas Day 2. My name is Morgan Flowers. If you are new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're not new here, hey boo, welcome back to another day. Um, as you guys can see, I'm still in my pajamas and stuff. I wanted to say hi, introduce the vlog. I do have to run to Michael's because we got an order on sale. Um, I ordered some stuff for my canvases and cocktails. Um, the vision board party event that i'm having in january um and i figured i think i told you guys this before i figured like since majority of you guys probably wouldn't be able to attend i might as well just share with y'all like what i'm thinking of what my process is i just didn't want to share too too much of it because i still want there to be some sort of a surprise element i still want people to be people who attend to be able to come and be like oh like this is cute or it wasn't what they were thinking that it was going to be so or not even what they were thinking it's going to be but um it's not like a, i'm not using a typical or standard like vision board usually when you think of a vision board party you might think it's like a poster where you like just slap some images on you put down your desires that is typically what a vision board board is my eyes just start twitching but that is typically what a vision board, it's twitching somebody's talking about me who talking about me <laughs> but that is typically what a vision board party is or what it looks like but I decided to do it a little bit differently and it's just going to be a vision board journal scrapbook crossover. So I had this idea. I was like, oh, books. <laughs> so I was like, oh, let's get a vision book. It's basically going to be a vision book. So um, the goal is for people to not only feel inspired and just come to like lay down some of their thoughts, but it's also something that they can take take home and continue throughout the year. You know, like a vision board, you typically do it. You're done. You're finished. Um, you may look you look back at it, you may hang it on the wall, you look back at it and say, Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. Let's check this off the list. Let's target this. But the book journal vision board scrapbook vibe is just basically gonna be like something that you can continuously document your progress in. Um, so I ordered some books off of Michaels. So I got some sketchbooks. I'm gonna show you guys mine because of course you can't like put out an idea without actually doing it. <laughs> so I was like, I have to start making my own scrapbook. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. I've been saying like vision book um, because it's kind of like I said that crossover. But I'm like you can't you can't give an idea without actually like participating in participating in it yourself. I just heard something. So that's what I've been doing for the last couple days. So I'm so excited to share this y'all. Like I just was like I put every once in a while I get on threads. I don't know if you guys remember threads. It's like an alternative to Twitter. Uh, but it's with it's linked with Instagram or whatever. So every once in a while I get on there. I post a little something, something and I get off. But I was like, I posted on there. I said, I'm, I'm sometimes so anxious to share my ideas. And sometimes I just need to chill and just let it play out. Let it, let, you know, let it, let it just, let it just happen. I speak on things. I try not to speak on things too soon, but sometimes I'm so excited to share. So I put, um, so I put that post on threads and it just kind of reminded me sometimes just chill just vibe twin like you know just chill so basically this is the idea of it what i'm gonna do is i did actually purchase a couple in different colors because just in case someone doesn't want black i did want to do primarily black but with the sale on michael's i i did it online and i was going to do a, a store pickup and they only had a couple black left so i wasn't able to get all black and if i didn't do the sale if i didn't just um like it was buy one get one free so they only had three black ones left so i had to kind of get one in another the color in order to get that extra free product and then um if i did shipping it was like an extra ten dollars so like i i ruined the sale if i just did shipping so i was like you know what maybe i'll just get some in other colors just in case someone doesn't want the black vibe so this is the vibe that i'm going for she's so stinking cute so over here um these are just two tabs that i thought of because i purchased little tab stickers that you can um you can target so basically the point in the tabs over here if you see that this one says this one says me and this one says inspo i'm a little ashy um but this one says me this one says inspo and basically the point of the tabs is just like whatever you're trying to focus on for the year you just take the tab and you can document within those couple pages that you set so say if your your goal for the year is you want to focus on health and fitness you'll just basically document everything under that tab so that you can at least separate the ideas in your mind you're not overcrowded you know journals you just write whatever but the tabs i feel like can help you get a little bit of a structure in your mind like okay let's let's go back to this particular part of my book and document just that so that's like my thought of it and when you first open the book this is what i've created so again it's kind of like a scrapbook journal vibe and here i have like a kind of a journal entry like i have it dated um and this first page is just my name and then it's just like 
things about myself. So I'm a Sag, you guys, you know, December 10th. So I'm a Sag. Um, flowers I had to put on here, you guys know. Um, and then just a couple little messages. I cut out some magazines. Um, I have jersey over here, which I found in a magazine. So I thought this was just super cute and super fun. Just a different way to incorporate the journal scrapbook vision board vibe. I do have some pop-up stickers, which isn't the most... This is just for the first page. I am going to buy some more pop-up stickers. But again, this is just for the first page because trying to put a pop-up sticker in the middle of the book is going to mess up the book, you know. So um, this is just kind of like the intro. Um, I have like keep God close here. So just very like general things about myself. So when I first open it, this is just like an intro to the scrapbook. Um, and then on the next page, the goal is that you just continue, you just continue jotting some, st some stuff down. So I did this a couple vlogs ago. Um, and just like, you kind of make it a journal in a way, journal scrapbook. So what people are going to do is you, I'm just going to have a bunch of, I'm going to provide a bunch of pictures and a bunch of uh, magazines and stuff like that. So you can just go through your book and add in different things in your different tabs. And of course I purchased tabs so that people can make their own. And so, yeah, I'm so excited. Like y'all, like I came up with the idea and I was just like, <gasps> Like, it hit me like an epiphany. I was like, oh, yes, absolutely. And then, you guys see, I drew a little rocket here. I forgot to mention that. My little rocket, because it's only up from here. It's only up. <laughs> so, like, that was the vibe for that. And, yeah, so I'm really excited for this. I did, like I said, I ordered some more books similar to this one. I got this one from Walmart. These were $9.37. So, I'm like, mm, $10 book for each person. And, you know, it get a little pricey. So, um... My ticket prices still aren't super expensive, um, but I did go up on the price a little bit because I, I do have to kind of like fund it, sort of. Um, but $10 per book. But again, Michael's had the sale, buy one, get one free. So I said, bet. I got you. I bought six of them. So I'm really excited for the for the process to show you guys as I'm going, just what I'm thinking of and all the all this stuff. Um, so let's take a shower get my life together um so i can head to michael's it was really gloomy this morning but i think the sun that might be trying to do a little something i hope it doesn't rain again because i'm sick of it I'm sick of it okay i'm literally just running to running to michael's don't don't look at me child me extra <laughs> i just have on this little coat that i got from zara um maybe two years ago but i'm extremely linty now the goal is not to get all the little pieces of lint off me because that's like going to be nearly impossible but the goal is to look a little bit more presentable. Now this coat is interesting because it has a hood. It looks like a pea coat, but it has a hood, which is different. Very different. So we're just doing all black. Literally just picking up my books. <laughs> but honestly, like when I'm off and stuff, it just gives me a good reason to just throw a little something on. You know, not too much, just like something. I don't gotta now I think also I always look like a bum when I'm at work like 100% of the time if you ever see me out and I look, and I look a mess I got sweatpants on a hoodie fluffy socks and slides it's probably because I'm either going to work or <laughs> I'm leaving work that's usually my uniform um but when I go out I'm like all right the least I can do is put something you wear some of my clothes at least when I go out so I'm just gonna put on a pair of sneakers. I'm just carrying my little handy dandy black bag because my camera, of course, can fit in it. And I'm, my perfume for the moment is just gonna be, I think this is Mugler Elixir. I can't remember. I know the other Mugler one I, ha I have is the Supra Flora, Supra Floral. I think this is the Elixir. I'll link it below, you know the vibes. But, Let's tighten this bad boy up. Um, but yeah, so that's it. That's all. Let's go pick up these books. <laughs> okay, I got them. Um, like I was telling you guys, I did some color variety. There are more colors I saw in the store, so I'll probably end up grabbing even more colors. There's one green, two black, two, three black, two gray. Um, and yeah, that's yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, that was my first time doing like a pickup order from there. So I had to ask the woman at the front, like, do I just grab it and go? Like, I don't want y'all to think I'm, you know, I was like, let me just double check. I just, I don't have to scan nothing. I mean, I guess that's the culture that we're in today. They don't need no proof of nothing. Okay. 
if you guys remember from Halloween, I did that like witch um, Halloween costume and I bought that broom. The broom was in here, very clearly. It's all these broom crumbs all in this bag. I don't even want to put the sketchbooks in this one. Like, I need a different bag, child. We just gonna use this one. I don't know, a part of me is being kind of indecisive because I, I think I do want all black. I don't know, like looking at it, it's like, okay. But like all black would eat so much more if all the books were black is what I'm trying to say basically. If all the books were black. Rather than it just being some. So I don't know. Um, again, they're a little bit cheaper at Walmart. They're $10, like $9.99 at Michael's, but they're $9.37 at Walmart. These exact like same type of sketchbooks. So I don't know, what do y'all think? Should I just, should I opt for all black? Like everyone gets the same black one? Or should I give people some options, some variety, like some other color? Cause I'm like, maybe everybody don't want black at the same time. But they also didn't have any more black. Like I, told, I was telling you guys, I think I told y'all that. They don't have any more black at this one. So I had to get a different color if I wanted to get something within the sale. So a green, I think they had like a pink one in there too. They had different colors. I feel like it might've been kind of cute. But for the sake of unison and like aesthetic, I'm tempted to just get the all black, honestly. But then I would have to, ret I guess I could just return these three and just switch them out for the black ones whenever they get some more in stock, I guess. So, but here we have it. I actually love this concept like so much. I can't wait for people to be like, oh, let's see how we can get creative. That sounds so fun. I need to take a picture, you guys with a drill. A part of being a content creator is literally taking a picture of everything, why? Because with YouTube, I need a thumbnail, of course, so. Um, and the la and the last thing you want to do during Vlogmas is not have a thumbnail. I struggled the first time I ever did Vlogmas. That was my struggle. I did not have enough. I wasn't taking enough pictures, so like I was struggling with my thumbnails. If y'all go back in my videos, you can kind of see like some of my thumbnails. They don't look as good as they look this like now. They definitely improved, but during Vlogmas was such a picture struggle. So I just be having to remember to take pictures of everything so that I have variety, option. Um, all look kind of pretty. Oh, look kind of pretty. Oh. <laughs> Wait. And also, just also just getting content for everything too because I want to do like a follow-up video for um Take the picture. Oh my gosh, I'm clicking everything. This big behind phone, y'all. You see I can barely hold it. But I always like the big phones. But anyway, I'm I'm running off on a tangent now. I'm like digressing. But um, my thumb is not hitting it. Like, that's just insane. Oh, they in the car. Oh. She's smoking a cigarette and they kissing. Like, okay. <laughs> Let me shut up, sorry. Let me shut up, mind my business. <laughs> mind my business. But what was I saying? Basically just taking a picture for everything. And also what I was saying that like, I want to do a TikTok on just like the process, just like I did with the first canvases and cocktails. I did like kind of like a full recap of the planning and everything. So getting little videos like this can help me with with the caption because it's like this is a part of the planning the buying process i happen to find these items on sale that was also like a really important part of it too because trying to buy this is sixty dollars worth of books just six sixty dollars you know what i'm saying like it gets very expensive so doing little stuff like this finding a little sale if i can even come back before the sale is over i think it's over in a couple days, I think I have a couple days left of the sale. So even if I can come back and see if they have more black in stock and then do the buy one, get one again, I will for sure do the buy one and get one free. Why would I not get a free book? I spent $30, you know? So um, yeah, it's just a part of the process. Recording every little thing. I'm going to take, the, I still didn't take the picture y'all. You be, this is insane. I'm acting like I don't got nothing to do. Excuse me. Just do a video. Like my hand, I literally can't even hold the phone. It's like insane. At this distance, basically. It's like but I'm da 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 That was a mess. <laughs> okay, so the plan for the rest of the day, y'all. I need to make the garlic mashed potatoes. I told you guys in Vlogmas Day One. I did get the ingredients for the garlic mashed potatoes. I was looking up some recipes. A lot of people were using like minced garlic. I could have just used my minced garlic. I didn't even have to buy 
a garlic like clove but I kind of wanted to try it I've never done that before like making the garlic in the oven letting it get soft having the olive oil squeezing it out like I always like the idea of doing it so I'm gonna do that for this one um but it says the recipe I saw said 350 in the oven for 350 for like 50 minutes um covered in aluminum foil of course with olive oil so I have to get cooking it's 12 o'clock I want to start the process soon um, I'm heading to Camille's around um, um, 5.45, I want to say, because you have to consider traffic. She lives like 40 minutes away from me. So we have to consider traffic too. By the time 6 o'clock and stuff comes around, oh my gosh, I know it's going to be like an hour to get to Camille, actually, now that I think about it. So I want to start leaving at like 5. I'm going to start like trying to be headed out by like 5.30. Um, she was saying that she wanted to pretty much start at 7 like everyone be there by seven basically but you know cp time um but i am going to get there early because again i have to try and find parking at her complex and i've never been there before so i don't know she said there's street parking but sometimes you know complexes it'd be packed somebody else might be having their own event today you know so it's like i want to get there and try to find some type of parking too so i want to definitely get there before seven i'm going to try to head out by 5 five thirty. so that means i need to be done cooking by like 4:45, meaning I need to start cooking at like three. I want to say, cause then I'll put the garlic, the garlic in the oven for an hour. That'll be done at four. Okay, something like that. So let's go. Let's get back home. Um, I'm probably gonna post in my um, flowers club. It's like my broadcast channel. If you're not in my broadcast channel, check it out. It's just me like posting updates um and just just like general things motivational things um and stuff like that so um i'm gonna probably post i've been trying to update my flowers club my my broadcast channel just with the process so that it's just kind of like a little bit more exclusive um so yeah okay so after further deliberation um i think i'm just gonna go all black <laughs> uh i had a thought behind it but Honestly, looking at all the colors, it just doesn't, it's not speaking to me, number one. Number two, I also did a poll on, in my flowers club, which I just told you all about, and people are mainly picking, I should stick with all black. So, I had a thought behind it. It was kind of strategic at the same time, but like I could still, I could still do it a different way. I could still, um, because I think I, did I explain this to you already? If I explained it, I'm cutting it out. It's going to skip to a, jump to a different part. And then, I, right, I did tell y'all this because I would have had to, if I wanted to get them shipped and get as many black as I want, I would be paying for shipping and I wanted to do store pickup because it was free. So, so what I could do now is I could just return the color ones and just maybe exchange them for the black one in store. Um, and then from there, I'll just stick to the black buy one, get one free situation. Um, so yeah, it's not speaking to me. I think the aesthetic is maybe getting it, but at the same time, what I also thought about is the fact that like, if you're pick, you're not essential, you're, you're sort of picking your own color, right? Sort of. If you come in and you wanted the first two people, it's first come first serve, but the last person that shows up to canvases, to, to canvases and cocktails, to the event, <laughs> the last person that shows up is going to get the last book. So say if you are the last person to show up and you have a black book. It's just like maybe you didn't really want black, but you got, or you have a green book, not black. You have a green book, but maybe you didn't really want green, but since you're the last person, you get stuck with whatever's last, as opposed to you actually picking which color you wanted, you know? So, again, I think I did see like pink ones, like other colors when I was in there, but again, it's just like I might as well just make everything black um, and exchange the ones that I have. So, so. That's cool. Again, and also what I will say is that the ones from, well, <laughs> they're slightly different. This is my, oh, oh, I thought they were, I thought mine was way bigger because I was going to also just go to Walmart. When this sale from Michael's is over, I'm going to have to get some from Walmart because they're like a little bit cheaper. But I was thinking that mine, this one, mine is this one. This one's bigger than that one, but it's not really bigger. They do have a kind of a, it's a different, the cover is a little different. <laughs> the Michael's one might be a little bit more official because it's Michael's. It's supposed to be like an actual sketchbook. I don't know. It doesn't matter, I guess. It doesn't. Mm. 
so uncool yeah so i just made that noise because i was looking at the page and it looked a little need to make sure everybody look look good i gotta go through these pages and stuff so um yeah, this book a little wrinkle. I hate how that page is wrinkle. See, that's a little stuff. Like it, y'all can't, y'all wouldn't be able to see it. But it look a little like mm, a little wrinkled there. But but yeah, so we have six so far. The capacity for the event is probably going to be around like the chairs can fit. I think she said like twenty or so people with three. I'm going to get three tables, so it's going to be a little bit bigger than my last event. Um, so. She said about 20 people. But I'm going to aim for like 16. I need to pick a number so that I know exactly how many books to get. Like I can't just be like, oh, whoever shows up. Like, no, I need to get the exact number of books. Um, so I'm going to aim for like 16 people, 16 guests. So I can just get 16 books. Whew, this is expensive. Each book $10? Oh, my God. Okay. So I'm going to chill for a second. Um, I'm going to pick out what I'm going to wear for Camille's too. Um, in a moment when I come back and then we'll get started on the garlic mashed potatoes. Okay. 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 It is currently 312. So let's get started on this garlic. Um, like I said, the recipe I saw, she said 350 for it, like almost an hour. So it's 350 for almost an hour. I just had to like get myself together and like check myself because I was just flipping from social media to social media. And I had to say, Morgan, this feels insane. Like, read a book. Like, it, nothing was really stimulating me. Now, did I read a book? No. Um, but it was just the thought that counted. Like, <laughs> like okay, next time I'm going to read a book. <laughs> no, but um, what came out of that also was um, for my girls' night. I told you guys I'm hosting, I'm hosting like a girls' night. So... I saw this little TikTok challenge that I figure we can do during girl night. It's basically like, it's called the think alike challenge. And basically the point is just to see if you come up with the same, you're given a word, what word do you come up with um, that goes with that word? So I was like, oh, I can do something like, something like that for girls night. Just something to do um, for my last girls night for Valentine's Day. I'm going to card the video above, but for my last um, girls night we did like painting which was really cute we did um we played like a little questions game so we did like little different stuff like that so I was trying to find a way for us for us to do something this go around too like what else can we do that's not the same thing so I saw the idea and I was like okay we can work with it so I'm going to make little little cards like index cards and just write the words on the cards so that we can just pick the words and then do the game and we'll just like it will I have it I have it planned out in my head okay I got it planned out in my head. <laughs> so I thought that was like a cute idea and me scrolling on TikTok did allow me to come up with that idea so I was like you know what the scroll wasn't that bad because I came up with an idea well not came up with the idea because it's already an idea but I was like you know what let's do that something that we can do that's different um I don't have a whole lot of like board games so I even thought about picking up like a game for us to do I literally have like uno this drinking game like a card drinking game and then which Tyra actually has I have to get that from her um and then I have categories like I don't have any games really in here I guess because I don't host a whole lot but um yeah so garlic it is let's get all the way into it the recipes I saw was just basically first of all let me wash my hands where can I put this, get this out of my face for a sec on? It's like in my way. Let me wash my hands first. And then the potatoes don't take that, not gonna take that long to boil. So I don't have to put them on right away. We're just gonna do the garlic for right now. The only thing I'm scared of right now is my house smelling like garlic. Like I don't think that's gonna be fun. <laughs> like it's like garlic up in here. But you know, it is what it is. I wanted to make, I wanted to make the garlic mash. That may or may not even be a Thanksgiving food. We don't know. We just gonna rock with it. Um. So, so the recipe I saw, I told you guys already. I've never done this before. I've never. So I've never done this before. I'm trying to move y'all in a little bit closer. If I had a wide lens, this would be great because then you'll be able to get the whole. Like my face not is not cut off, but you know, it is what it is. But basically, the recipe I saw was a peeled. 
the garlic should i do one i feel like i should do one i don't want it to be overly garlic right like but basically they just cut the ends off the garlic and peeled it all of the good things the good things all of the good things um i'm gonna peel it as much as i can and then i'm gonna cut it all right, I don't think I'm supposed to peel it all the way. I just discovered that. I don't think I'm supposed to peel it all the way. Because every time I see a video, they're like literally squeezing it out. Have you guys ever done this? They're literally just like squeezing it out. So it's got to be squoze out of something. <laughs> squoze is crazy. All right, I'm a little scared because this feels really small and tiny. So I'm going to be right back. Hold on. She wanted, she can't take no more. Okay. It smells wonderful, I will say. It smells, oh, it smells great. Like, yeah, I feel like a chef already. Okay, I definitely smell like garlic. How wonderful. Which I was expecting, of course. But I just pretty much just cut the, like, tip off, I guess. I don't know. Let me know if I'm doing this right, y'all. I mean, I think afterwards you just peel the surrounding eggshell. There she go. So I just have, I have this little tray so I can easily grab it in and out. And then I'm just gonna, just one should be okay, right? Yeah, I don't need it to be all, I don't need it to be all crazy. Like, you won't taste the garlic. Trust. Trust me. Okay, so, should I, do they season it at all or no? No, I think it's just olive oil. Oh, pour a little olive oil on it like that. All right, Morgan, that was too much, y'all. It looked like it was too much. It looked like it was too much. Now, if you guys remember, I said that Camille is allergic to like nuts and stuff, so I have the olive oil. Um, so this should be pretty good. So basically, I've seen them just kind of like wrap it like this and let it like marinate in the oven. So let's see how that turns out. Worst comes to worst, I don't think anything's gonna be wrong with it, but if anything goes wrong, I do have minced garlic. I didn't really wanna use minced garlic. I wanted it to be like whipped into it like nice and smooth but we gotta do what we gotta do if that don't work out so it's 317 i guess i'll check on it at about like four or so and see what we're looking like or when should i start actually making the potatoes i guess i can start making the potatoes at four because it's like i don't really need to boil them that early they're just going to be sitting here <laughs> while they're waiting while i'm waiting for the garlic you know so at four we'll start the potatoes because as somebody who has had my own self-confidence literally ripped from me by a single person, okay, stomped on, spat on, and I honestly didn't think I would ever get it back, I'm not gonna lie. I had to fight to earn it back, especially in a society that tells me I have every reason not to have confidence. Perfect. I Perfect. am extremely overprotective of this. my own self-worth my own confidence because it's literally challenged every day unprovoked and so maybe that's like my little rebellious side just being like the worst just question. don't drink the kool-aid like just don't drink the kool-aid because that person is gonna be gassing up one day and then the next you could be the ugliest person in the world so i literally have learned i've learned to be completely indifferent to both cons confidence or compliments and insults because honestly like <sighs> Not that nobody, it's not that nobody needs validation. That's not true. That is absolutely a lie. I mean, everybody loves validation. What I'm saying is just be really, really, I'm really, really thoughtful about how I internalize it because I don't want it ever taken away from me again. And I don't want anybody else to ever in their life think they're the ones who decided that I was prettier. No, the hell with you. Like I get up every day and I decide that for myself and I define those things. So I just found this woman. Wait, Jackie, I know I love you, but hold on. Why did I just find my diary from 2015? I'm scared of her. I don't. It's like no, I'm just kidding. But I was ugh, going through it. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna just. This one is acceptable. I can read this one. Um, this is from August 2015. It says, as of right now, I'm only staying on campus for a year and then transferring to community college. College is truly for the rich kids and kids with scholarships. I was pissed and felt some type of way about it at first, but with the help of my grandma and God, I am becoming much more understanding. Everyone doesn't have it, and my family darn sure doesn't. 
I never liked the I I never liked the thought of commuting and living at home, but hey, I can only do what I'm able to. I just pray that God I just pray to God that I continue to be understanding and hope that he masks my annoyance about this whole college process. Aww Morgie <laughs> Ah <laughs> Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm actually gonna keep that because I feel like it's like it's interesting to reflect on where I was in that moment because you think about growth you think about like becoming a new person you think about like being who you are currently I was 2015 it's almost 10 years ago <laughs> I had my little I was like graduating high school I had my little high school sweetheart girl my little high school sweetheart, we were going our separate ways. He was going to one college, I was going to another. Y'all know the story, right? So I was very emotional about that. I was very emotional to say the le to say the least. But I'm keeping it because it's interesting. I didn't I didn't even write that much. Like it's literally only a couple pages in here. But it's just interesting to like look back on, you know. I got all these words. Oh no, this I'm about to say another word search. But this is a word, it's called word wise, which is like a thesaurus that's how you thesaurus right yeah i haven't said that word in a very long time <laughs> so that's interesting look another one the, like <laughs> wow y'all know i'm a planner girl look 2019 is crazy what they even say on there like wow Y'all know I'm a planner girl through and through. That's so funny. Currently watching more informative shows and documentaries. Um, focusing, graduating, improving music. At one point I was like trying to do, like not trying to do music, but I was singing a little bit more often and stuff like that. So that's interesting. Wow, planner girl through and through girl. To April 2019, way day. I was 132. <laughs> I ain't 132 no more. <laughs> but that's interesting i'm keeping it too <laughs> show my kids well child anyway show somebody <laughs> my oh this is my old devotional for like from church oh this was cute i should keep this and pass it down like for sure because i i can I, honestly this is something that i can read now <laughs> like this is not even i have some of someone here um, that I read I can tell that I had like lines I'm like you know writing stuff on the in the book and stuff but yeah look it says to Morgan from Atasha that's my aunt I love her wow okay very interesting so I can I can still use this now like this is literally a devotional there's nothing wrong with it and I'm and everything still applies it is dated though so that would like kind of bother me but I guess I could start in January you know what I'm taking this out because I can honestly start this in January <laughs> it starts January 1st just something you know something else to give me a little extra motivation I do have an app on my phone that's kind of like geared towards motivation and stuff like that and like my devotionals but like having something that you can follow from the day to day is interesting and again it kind of like this is 2019 2018 like this is old not even that old, but I would definitely say around this time I was in like high school. I definitely got this around the time. So that's interesting. Um, I wish I had somewhere to put it. I, I would love to get rid of this box. Like it's literally just, it don't have much in it. It's just like, but it's just like, I don't have that much space. Like where am I going to put all this old stuff? I definitely don't want my diary floating around. We need to tuck that away. <laughs> tuck it away, girl. Um... But yeah, see, like, what is this? I'm scared. What is this? Oh, this is my, um, uh, see, I told her I was doing music a little bit more. This is like my remake to, um, Session 32. I was listening to that earlier. Threw away your love letters. Y'all know Session 32 by, uh, Summer Walker. I made like a remake or, you know, I sung it differently, basically. I'm gonna keep that too. See, Horton, I don't need to keep none of this. I really don't. But I like looking back on stuff sometimes. I'll throw it away eventually. I'm not going to keep it that, you know. I ain't going to keep it from house to house to house. To, like, you know, girl, doing the most. Um, these are envelopes. So, like, this book, this box can really, like, I can create some some more space in here. I got this box. You know, I actually, I should keep this box, though, now that I think about it. Only because when I do canvases and cocktails, I'll be able to have some. I was thinking about that, too, like having something to transport stuff. 
that can kind of be a struggle. Like I'm gonna have so much, you know, I'm gonna have all the books. <laughs> so I could, I'm gonna just keep it for now. At least I know it's barely anything in here. And if I do need to trash it or whatever the case may be, I know exactly what's in it. Thought it make me feel better. I finally got you out my bed, but I still can't get you out my head. Ooh. Okay, so what was next? What was over here? Okay, so the main purpose of me even being over here, I was trying to find this little book. It's like a construction, it's like construction paper. But it's just like different color. Well, slightly different colors. It's like shades of gray. And I was going to use these to make the little cards. <laughs> Extra. All I'm doing is writing a word for the little game that we're playing. All I'm doing is writing a word. I could have used a little sheet of paper. But I wanted the cards. I wanted to make it cuter. So, that was literally my motivation for going in here in the first place. So, put this stuff back. It's literally... 344 yes my house smells like garlic it smells good though i did open the window because like <laughs> the smell is like you know it's it's here it's it's definitely it's definitely prominent so thought it make me feel better i finally got you on my bed okay so let me make the cards um, I pretty much explained the game to you guys, but basically it's just like, I literally made a list of cards. So, if I say a word, y'all have to think about what you would say in response to that. So, if I say, um, egg, it'll be like, one, two, three, shell. Like, or whatever, whatever comes to your mind, that's kind of like the, what the game was. But I wrote down a bunch of different words that you can use that, that people can think of two different, at least two different words of, um, to fin to complete the word, basically. So that's really just it. That's all I'm doing. Um, I'm going to just cut this paper up and write the words down. That's really just it. And I feel like that was a cute way to do something like inexpensive. I don't have to buy anything. Like it's literally just you have something to do, but it's not like anything you need to like go out and get. You can make a game at the crib, you know. So finally make me feel better. I... But okay, y'all, I'm going to come back when it's time to start boiling the potatoes. I did kind of set up my kitchen, put the take the bowls out, all that type of stuff. So when I'm ready to start boiling, we can get right into it. So, BRB. Y'all can't see me that well. Let me see if I turn this way. Okay, that's a little better. Basically, I just have one. My little, this is an Aritzia shirt, but I literally just put a slit in it to give it a little extra something. I don't know, whatever. But it has shoulder pads. Clearly, I just have some silver jewelry, 
my pants are just these little well they're really leggings they're like a velvet material but they're just i wanted it to be comfortable and i tied the shirt in the back so that i because it's literally oh this shirt is a dress that's what it is the shirt is a dress so i didn't want to i didn't want to wear this as a dress <laughs> so that's all i got that's all we given i have um angel Sh killian's angel share on for for my perfume for tonight um yeah so right now since it's about 40 minutes away I didn't do anything to my face. I meant to say that too. I just put some mascara on. But it's about 40 minutes away. It's 540. So I'm making decent time in. I'm about to just head out so that I can um, get there. I'm the one. I have the wine too. I know she probably has other things to drink. But I, I do have the wine. So let me. I know she want to taste it. <laughs> so um, let's get on the road. Grab the mashed potatoes. Okay. <laughs> did it we were just kind of like talking about that talking about things that we were thankful for and things of that nature so i thank you guys so much for joining me on vlogmas day two i will see y'all tomorrow <laughs> Double text.